from Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. I remember that moment where he took off his glasses and he, he looked at the clock and he said that uh, President Kennedy has, has died. And I, I you know, that, that, that was one of the, you know, the early, earliest moments that I can remember that uh, I really wanted to pursue a career in news. And then I watched Walter all through the, uh, the uh, days of the Apollo space program. And I remember him uh, saying on July 20th, 1969, that uh, man has landed on the moon. The eagle has landed. Roger Twain, we're bringing it again. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you. Boy. <laughs> okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. Wally, say something. I'm speechless. To think that he was the most trusted man in America really was, I think, an, an understatement. Because at that time, anytime anything ever happened, anytime anything bad ever happened, the world turned to Walter Cronkite, not only for the news, but, but for reassurance. And uh, he was... He was not just an icon, but he was, you know, almost like a member of your family. And to think that he is gone now is just such a, a sad occasion. He was the consummate television newsman. Um, he had all the credentials to be a writer, an editor, a broadcaster. Um, there, there was only one Walter Cronkite and there may never be another one. Being friends with Walter Cronkite was uh, about as high as you could rise in our business. To be his colleague and his friend was a, uh, a double blessing. Mm -hmm.